say amazing so online learning is not the next big thing it is the now big thing a very very beautiful morning to all of you my name is richa and i am a part of shila vera community of singapore with immense excitement i would like to welcome you all to our first online webinar for the year 2020 let's embrace the new normal and get going okay so i would like to introduce the most amazing and inspiring digital guru that we have with us bella khacha and thank you so much to nimble team for partnering with us guys for any technical issues during the session please feel free to ping us on the chat during the session and if any content related queries we have our moderator fe and nisha with us who will help you answer all your questions on q and a yeah moving ahead So who Sheila Dera is? We are a non-profit, volunteering-run organization incepted in the year 2016, right in Singapore. We focus on the importance of diversity, data, and digital literacy by conducting free workshops, seminars, and meetups for women. Of course, we want to help women to embrace data and tech in order to get them ready for the future of jobs, create their local and global support network. It's all about data tribe. It's all about women in tech, and we are proud to say that since the year 2016, we have trained almost 6,500 women across globe. Nice. So, what's our mission and vision? What is that we envision for the industry for women in tech in data? We just want to inspire and encourage more and more women to pursue careers in data and tech. and build a community where like minded women like us can come together without any hesitation learn connect and just enjoy the journey ultimately significantly we just want to expand our reach with an apac and other continents over the next 3 years okay so with this i pass the baton to bella the speaker for the next 1 hour feel free to ask a number of questions and enjoy the phase thank you Thank you so so much Risha. Wow, thank you. What a beautiful morning. All right. So basically um who is Nimble Marketing or what do we do? Um Nimble Marketing Consultancy is a company that I founded the same year, the same year that Sheila's Data was founded. Uh we found um uh in 2016 and we are basically a consultancy that focuses a lot on social media, a lot of digital marketing and we have helped so many 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 brands across Asia and uh and and also empower women uh, to be much more socially tech savvy. So if you have never heard of us, please 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 go to www.nimble.sg or if you're on your phones right now, Why don't you whip out your phone? Go to Nimble that is on Instagram, and then you can learn so much more from us visually、um, on Instagram right there. So yeah, that's what pretty much what we do. And of course, we also have、um, this thing、um, called Nimble Academy, where I spearhead、um, a lot of trainings, a lot of、um, seminars, a lot of conferences, just to get more people to be much more acquainted with digital marketing. So. I'm really excited、um, to be here. It's a、uh, it's it's a pleasure, a, a real pleasure、um, to be working Shilas Data. And if you're if you're ready, if you're ready, let's just let's kick start. Let's kick start, shall we? Yeah. All right. Okay. So, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna toggle between my slide to my actual slide, and I'm just gonna watch everyone. Hang on. There you go. All right. Now. All right, ladies. Now,、um, this is my first time. One of my first times doing webinar.、Uh, usually, I'm on seminars. I am on,、um, you know, I am on、uh, something. You know, I'm on like a stage. So this is really something very interesting because I've never actually had to present、uh, like on a screen. So I'll do my best. I'll do my best. But before we kickstart a webinar, a webinar, in my opinion, is not is no different than a seminar. Is no different than a physical workshop. So what I would like to do is I would like to get to know my attendees a lot better. Ah,、uh, could you just spend maybe about a minute or two, just typing in where you are from, where you're watching this on the chat group, ah,、uh, in the chat box,、uh, right there. Um, I have my nimble team with me. I have my nimble team with me to assist you with any questions that you have um throughout this entire webinar series because it's gonna be about a forty-five to fifty-minute presentation, and then we're gonna have a Q and A. Um, so. So let me know in the comment 
in the comment section, where are you from, right? Um, I have my iced coffee here, ladies and gentlemen. So uh, I have my coffee here. Let me know what you're drinking. Uh, let's, let's, uh, let's be interactive. It's not just, you know, me lecturing on a computer. Um, but yes, let me know what you're drinking. Uh, let me know what you're excited about. Effie, could you just pull everyone right now and, uh, um, and just ask everyone, uh, what are their biggest struggles when it comes to digital marketing? Let's do that. Let's do that. Because it's really quite strange. I'm just really talking to myself, honestly. Uh, and, but what I would love to do is let's get interactive as, um, as much as possible. Um, I understand we have people from Sydney. Wow, we have people from Sydney, Singapore, Malaysia, Indonesia. Wow, wow, wow. I mean, wow, that's amazing. So, hi, hi, everyone. Hi, Alvina. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. Hi, Jacqueline. Nice, nice, nice to meet you. All right. It's a pleasure. Yeah. Thank you, Sheila's data team. Uh, to be very honest, um, I know it looks like all flawless and all that, but Sheila's data team has been working on this tirelessly. So if we can actually give a virtual clap, <laughs> if I could actually give a virtual clap to the entire team of Sheila's data, thank you so much for bringing me here. Uh, thank you so much um, for bringing all of us here together. Uh, let's have a fantastic session. Uh, Manila, Philippines. Nice, nice. Wow. Amazing, amazing. All right. Okay. So um, yes, there is a poll. There is a poll that is just um, that was just uh, pulled out. Please, could you just um, you know um, uh, poll um, and let me know what are your biggest struggles when it comes to digital marketing? Um, because after all, today's session is about digital marketing for small businesses like you and I. Um, and I would like to know and understand what are the, some of the things that you are having issues with recently, we have, especially with the whole situation right now. But you know, I think the situation. Um, um, has really brought us closer together online, digitally. And I think this is a, a really fantastic um, opportunity for us to really optimize our business, uh, whether or not we are either kickstarting it for the very first time or whether or not you're into, uh, where, uh, whether or not you're already deep into the business. I really think that I have a lot to share um, with everybody. Like, you know, what are some of the things that you can already do, uh, whether or not you're, you're like a new startup or not. I mean, this is really something for everyone, yeah? So let me know in the comment section below, uh, what are your thoughts and what are your um, biggest challenges thus far? Alrighty. Now, I'm also really excited to be announcing that Nimble will also be having our very first virtual summit that's going to happen on the 1st to 3rd May. Um, and it's, it's a, basically a combination of everything that I teach in my masterclasses. And I'll be sharing a lot more, um, a lot more technical tools um, that we can go through together. So um, keep your eyes peeled, keep your eyes wide open for this. This is happening in May. Well, more details coming soon. Uh, my partner, Sheila's Data, will be sharing this as well. So thank you so much, everybody, um, uh, for being here today. Um, I'll tell you a little bit more about, um, about the summit uh, right after the workshop. So let's start our webinar, yeah? Um, to kickstart the webinar, let me just announce that like, I'll be, I'm, uh, uh, I, I also have authored a book called um, The Ultimate Guide to Social Media Basics. Now, a lot of the things that I'm mentioning today will actually be based also on the things that you can find in my book. So it's not to say that you will not have a replay. You will have a replay. So I know everyone's like, is there, is there a replay? There will be a replay. Don't worry about that. Uh, we'll send you a replay. And I'll also be sending everybody a chapter, a free chapter um, to be given away from the book. So I'll share a little bit more because one of the biggest things about this book is that it covers nine, nine social media platforms from TikTok, from YouTube, from Facebook, all the way to LinkedIn, all nine uh, platforms will be covered here. And you'll be happy to know that I'll be giving a really lovely uh, you know, discount uh, to everyone uh, to actually purchase the book. So that is, uh, that is the thing that I will, um, I'm really happy to share. Yeah. So let's start the class. Now, what is, what is typically what's, uh, what's going to happen in class is that I'm definitely going to introduce to you what are some of the most fundamental things about digital marketing, the theory side to it. And then the most crucial, crucial thing about the whole presentation is to really try to understand what and how to develop a mindset ready for digital marketing, because it's not so much about what you can Google. It's not so much about what you can figure out with your website. It's about how do you sustain that aptitude and the, the, how do you stomach the whole process of digital marketing that is really, really crucial. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to break down um, um, you know, all these things with, uh, for you so that you understand the amount of responsibility, the amount of responsibility that you actually have as a digital marketer. So that's really, really important. 
And the next thing that is really important is also how you actually develop a social media strategy for your campaigns. So what is the difference, right? What is the difference between campaigning? What is the difference between campaigning? And what is the difference between social media postings? Because I hear a lot of students coming to me and asking me, Bella, I, I did a social media post on LinkedIn or I did a video on YouTube. Isn't that campaigning? That is only half, not even half the battle, yeah? So I need to explain to everyone, like, what is the difference between once, um, how to get into a campaign mindset and what is the difference between that? And, um, you know, what's the difference between that as well as, like, your everyday social media postings? Now, before I continue, may I just double check that I am crystal clear, that I'm crystal clear and that you can see my presentation slide really clearly and you can hear me, um, you know, really clearly as well. So I'm just going to, you know, look at my chat again. Am I crystal clear? You are 53 minutes. Wow. It is a pleasure and an honor to be in your presence, uh, Seema. Uh, uh, it's a pleasure uh, and honor to be in your presence, especially us as women entrepreneurs. So, uh, hi, Komal from India. So, am I crystal clear? Just checking, just checking, checking, checking. Yeah. Yeah. All righty. All right. So, the most important thing, the most important thing is to also understand the tools, right? The tools that you must have. Um, in your digital marketing, and I think um, to kickstart that entire trajectory, uh, the semantics of it all. So I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna also share with you top five tools, must have tools in your toolkit uh, for you to just kickstart that journey uh, with your advertisement, your digital marketing, and things like that. So these are all the things that um, that are really, really important. Um, uh, uh, hang on, yeah, hang on, yeah, hang on, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay, mm, okay, yeah. Okay. Okay. So, uh, yeah. So anyway, uh, coming back to this. Um, I, uh, so the objective of this session is to basically um, get you to um, have the basic knowledge of digital marketing and how to apply this to your brands. Now, I understand that there's a lot of us. Um, and there's a lot of us here. Um, there's so many of you. There's a hundred, hundred of you um, in this, um, um, you know, in this, in this uh, webinar. And what I want to understand now is what is the industry that you actually, uh, what is the industry that you're from? What kind of business do you run? If you're a service provider, please put it in the chat box that you're a service provider. If you are a, if you are a, um, uh, if you're a product business owner, please put in the chat box that you're a product business owner so that I can have an understanding of, you know, what, um, uh, what do you actually run? All righty, service provider, e-coms, all righty, come on, come on, come on. All righty, okay, great, great, great. Yes, all right, all right. If you're a B2C, if your business is a B2B or a B2B mark, uh, a B2C business, please put it in the chatbot as well. Let's get interactive. Let's give, let's, let's fire up this chatbot. Yeah, nice, nice. All righty. All right. Real estate. All right. Fashion, real estate. Wow. Community driven. Jewelry. All right. Nice, nice. Okay. Nice. Okay. Ladies and gentlemen, if you're watching this uh, from, your, from your room, from your living room, um, before we begin, before we begin um, uh, the webinar proper, uh, let me just tell you a little story about how I started my journey in digital marketing. Um, and just so you know that I am not a guru overnight or I'm not an expert overnight. It was, it was because of the, um, the experience that I had prior. In this case, I had advertising. Um, um, uh, I had an advertising background uh, working for a fashion brand called Max. It's a European brand called Max. Um, and I was for the longest time running, um, you know, helping um, to do a lot of outbound advertisements like, you know, billboard ads, um, you know, editorial magazine, and that was all the marketing knowledge I ever known, yeah? So that's the thing, right? Um, because of my advertising background, marketing is just a lot easier because I could understand the visuals, I could understand, you know, um, you know the, the, the advertisement aspect of it, the kind of models I want on my editorial and things like that. So I'm a little bit more aware of what it takes to actually get someone's attention. Now, in today's age and in today's day and age, when it comes to uh, marketing, um, disruptive marketing tactics or outbound marketing, right? So, uh, so it, it's really something that may or may no long may or may not be um, uh, prevalent in today's day and age. And this is something that I want to share. I want to share with you that um, you know the tactics, the tactics that I applied like ten years ago uh, in outbound marketing is 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 not as prevalent as today because today is all about the storytelling. 
How do you build an audience? How do you gain the trust of your community? How do you actually build a brand online? And this is something that 10 years ago, I never had, I never had um, the experience to actually explore this. So when I started Nimble, when I started Nimble, just like you, I was driven. Um, I was driven by the sheer, uh, sheer fact that I wanted to actually create um, you know, a business really, really, truly um, marketing it online where people are not just, um, people are not just aware of what you do, but people believe in what you do. And I wanted to make sure that the, that, that system, that system, that trust factor between me and my brand and my community was something that I, I actually tried, um, you know, try to harness that um, uh, for, for, for months and months. So before anything else, let me just put this out there. If you think that whatever Nimble is today, was what it was four years ago. Uh, I, if you go to Nimble's Instagram and you were to scroll the very first photo of I, um, the very first, um, you know, um, you know how I started a business, I was actually doing this solo, like you, or you know, maybe not. I was actually doing uh, marketing all by myself as an entrepreneur, as a solopreneur. And this is the reason why I wanted to have this webinar because I wanted to give you the belief and a sense of belief that you can do this too. So it does not matter. It does not matter if you actually have a, a, a team of 10. It does not matter if you have a team of five even. It does not matter if you're even doing this alone. As long as you have the computer, as long as you have your smartphone with you, as long as you have your phone with you, right? You are already a digital marketer, right? So this is important, yeah? This is really important for you to understand um, the mechanics of it all. I do not need you to have a big team. I just need you to understand what it takes for you to actually market this um, um, together uh, together with all these tools that are readily available for you online for free and how you can actually get the word out about your brand really, really fast, right? So, um, so before we even start, before we even start in our digital marketing, uh, um, uh, you know, uh, digital marketing journey, let's ask ourselves these questions. Yeah, let's ask ourselves these questions. Do you? Are you here trying to influence someone? Who, are, who am I trying to influence? What change do I actually want? Uh, what channels do I actually want to own? Yeah, am I really campaign ready, or am I just socially social media ready? How much resources do you have for marketing? And I'm I, and when I when I ask you this, it's really about um you know the time that you have, you know um the time that you have, the tools that you have. Do you have a smartphone only? Do you have a smartphone and a tripod? Do you have a selfie stick? Do you have a DSLR camera? These are all the tools that are needed truly uh, for digital marketing. So I would like to ask, how much resources do you have? Do you have a budget for ads? Do you have a budget for ads? Say, for example, do you have 20 bucks for ads to put it, to put it as a boosted post? Do you have all these resources that uh, are really, really kind, kind of like the ingredients um, before we even kickstart a proper digital marketing strategy? So ask yourself this. Um, if this is something that is completely new to you, please let me know again in the chat box. Some of the struggles, my entire girls, my entire team is there together with Sheila's data to just keep the conversation going and we're all there to really answer your questions. So yes. All right. So here's, before I even start, let's talk about the biggest misconception of digital marketing. And I think this is really key and really something important that I really want to break down because, um, uh, uh, because this is something that a of my students ask me um, across the regions, yeah, whether or not they're from Singapore, from Malaysia, from Morocco, um, all my students always have this biggest misconception of digital marketing and they're right here, right? Um, a lot of times when we want to start on, on digital marketing, everyone's like, can be concerned, oh my gosh, Bella, like I do not have even a proper database. Like I do not even have like, um, um, you know, a customer base. How do I even start to market if I don't even have the customers, right? Um, I only have $50 to spare uh, as a budget. Do I really need a big budget to even start uh, uh, marketing? Um, and then, um, you know, a lot of times, a lot of times uh, my students will say, will, will tell me, um, Bella, I don't even have a website. Um, how do I, how do I do this? Do I, do I have to have a wit website that is fully functional that is so so beautiful and so you know like so optimized before i even start my marketing or before i even start my business um and then the last thing that i uh, i actually um <laughs> this is something that is always always a question to me bella do i really need to have a huge social media following like ten thousand followers before i even start my marketing the answer to the, all of this is no, no, not at all. You do not need a huge database. You don't have to have a big budget. You don't have to even have a beautiful 
have to have a thousand following before you even start your business online because all of these things is the part of the process it's part of that growth process that i'll be sharing with you later so please 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 let's try to let's try to break break away from the fear of um you know kickstarting our business online and really start to focus on what is truly truly the reason why we are in business look i i i'm a small business myself you know, she loves data is a community. I run Fem Bootcamp, which is also another community. And when you actually keep, and, and as a female entrepreneur, you must, you must have, uh, you must have clarity. You must have clarity with what you do. You must have clarity with the reasons why, why you start this business in the first place. Who do you really want to help? Who, who is your target audience? Why are you doing what you do? What is so special about what you do? And remember, as female entrepreneurs, not only are we, not only are we going to be selling our business um, online, we are multitasking a billion things. We are mothers, we are daughters, we are daughter-in-laws, we are wives, we are girlfriends. There's just a lot of things that we are doing. And it seems to, it seems, it really does seem that like, um, it really does seem that um, you can feel quite alone which is why this webinar will be sharing with you a lot of tools that is gonna help you get there where you don't have to feel alone, right? You don't have to feel like you're struggling because there are a lot of tools out there that are free that's gonna help you manage your time proper, schedule your work better, and also create, create all these visuals where you don't even need a master of Photoshop. So I will be telling you a little bit more about the kind of design tools that I advocate uh, beyond Canva. I know a lot of people are using Canva. So tell me in the chat box below, are you using Canva? If you're using Canva, let me know. Do you love it? Do you hate it? Um, I'll be sharing with you a lot more digital, uh, I mean like a lot more design tools to just, you know, get you, um, you know, make your work a little bit pop yeah you know they, so it pops a lot more uh, uh than the canva template yeah so all right nothing against canva i love canva but we gotta really uh, knock it off the park with our design so let's start all right so what is digital marketing truly yeah what is digital marketing truly now the idea here is a lot of people a lot of people think that digital marketing is just social um and that is what um people um think uh, that's what people think I uh, you know I only do that I'm only doing social media but it's not it's completely not it's how you are being searched yeah so we're gonna talk about you know um, you know um, how we actually appear on the search engine you know what it really means to be um, content creating on social media platforms and I'm not just talking about Instagram I'm not just talking about Instagram we're gonna explore um, you know um, you know other platforms like Vimeo we're gonna uh, explore other platforms like you know TikTok like what is it all about what's what's tiktok you know um and, and and if you like me you look at tiktok you're like what is this you know uh this is something that is completely new don't worry i'll explain to you um uh, a little bit more about these channels and the idea here this yeah the idea here is this digital marketing is all the things that you are doing and optimizing online whether or not you're content creating online, whether or not you're doing your videos online, whether or not you're even writing a blog, whether or not you're maintaining a blog, a Tumblr, a, a, um, you know, a, a WordPress blog, you know, these are all your channels, the channels that you have chosen to own. So let's talk a little bit more uh, in, in, in its specifics, yeah? All right. So let's kickstart a digital marketing funnel. If this is something, if this is something that is brand new, you have never seen this before, yeah? Don't worry, like I said, uh, we'll be sharing the webinar. It is uh, all screen recorded. But before we begin, to, uh, before we begin uh, you know, to think about our business, um, let's think about our funnel first. Now, this is what we call a digital marketing funnel, yeah? It is completely different from a sales funnel. It's completely different from a content funnel. But all of that, I'll explain to you on Wednesday and Friday. So do not miss the webinar on Wednesday, especially webinar, the webinar on Wednesday, because the webinar on Wednesday is all about content creation. Um, so I'm, I'm really, really excited for that. So let's, uh, let's kick start. Um, you know, you know, this, this section about, you know, how do you even attract your prospects, right? Um, just so you know, please write this down. If you have your notebook with you, write this down, yeah? Your prospects or your target audience, it is not the general following that you have on social media. I repeat, the prospects that you want to bring into my funnel, into a digital marketing funnel, it is not the prospects or it is not an audience that you see on social media. They are just a following. They are just an audience. They are just your, you know, um, they are just your, um, your, um, 
you know, um, someone who's just interested in your brand. They're just like the people who watch you from afar. They are not your target audience. They are also not your, uh, they are also not your customers. So were you confused between this uh, for the longest time? Do you always market to your audience thinking that they are your target uh, market? Uh, please let me know in the, please let me know in the chat. Hey, let me just ask everyone this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What do you think? Do, have you always had this confusion between your audience being like your target, um, target uh, customers? Uh, yes. Please put it in the chat below. Yeah, please put it in the chat below if you've always had this confusion. Yeah, Seema, yeah, yeah, I pretty much, you know, I was confused at some point before. Yeah, all right, all right. So let's, let's, let's do this, yeah? Remember this, the audience on social media is not your target audience. And the thing about that, the thing about that is that we need to have to, have, we need to understand, we need to understand that all of our target audience, they're everywhere. They're right now, they are, you know, they are potentially everywhere. They could be, they, and, and they can be found in, uh, via uh, diff, different demographics. They can be segmented, uh, you know, um, you know, in um, by age group, even by location, even by gender, right? Understanding your target audience is really important because they are the ones that are going to buy from you at the end of the day. They are going to be the ones who are purchasing from you from the other, uh, at the end of the day. So at the end, uh, and the most important thing to this is for you to understand how do you bring all of them to the top of your funnel? It could be via videos. Love doing videos and you're already on YouTube. Even though you have 20 views through that video, you are already doing it. Fantastic. So you're doing it on your videos. You are already boosting some ads. You're already doing some ads, some paid ads, some, some sponsored posts. You're already getting some eyeballs uh, from your potential customers. You're already doing that. You are a keyboard warrior. You're already blogging. You already start, you know, um, you have content that is either in the written form, you're already on Pinterest. You know, you could be on search, right? You could, that's how you find your audience. You, you, you optimize search engines. You make, you make sure that you are collaborative. You want to do guest blogging. You want to be featured on, a, 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 on another, um, you know, on another platform. And when, I, when you Google, when I Google your name, like, you know, Yana Murray, uh, 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 Yana, I can actually, you know, Google you quite easily. Uh, you're on search and stuff like that. Um, on the best part, and, and, the best to it, and the best part to it all is that everyone, like you and me, we are on social media. These are all the, these are all the different ways that we are bringing traffic um, to our funnel, and this is really key. The thing, the thing about that, um, the thing about um, a, a lot of times when we're doing digital marketing is that we are trying too many things too often. We are trying, we water down our efforts. We are not niching. We are not focused. We are just trying everything because we're not too sure what is working. And that is a thing about measurement. And that is a thing about analytics that I will talk to, uh, I will uh, I'll talk to you about as well, because it is not so much about putting content on social media. It's about measuring, measuring the things that you're doing as an effort on digital that is really, really important because at the end of the day, at the end of the day, what we want to do is we want to bring everyone back down to the funnel where, to the bottom of the funnel where they become a customer, where they become advocates of your brand, where, it, where you know, they are fans of your brand. So this is really, really key. Yeah. So the thing about the essence of what I do, and you can screenshot this, you can actually do this, or, um, you know, I say this a lot. Um, the tenets of how I built my business is truly um, new. Nimble is really masters of inbound marketing. Uh, we are storytellers. Anytime a client comes to us, we go like, all right, hold up. What we do, what we do best is inbound marketing. Can we just get that straight? Like we do ads, we do paid search and things like that. We, we do Google optimization and things like that. But what we do best is content marketing. So if you want to learn more, if you want to learn more about inbound marketing and the, uh, and the semantics of inbound marketing, may I suggest HubSpot.com because HubSpot.com will allow you to really, um, there are a lot of tools out there. Uh, um, there are a lot of tools out there. There are a lot of teachers out there. And one of the biggest teachers that can teach you inbound marketing is of course HubSpot. So please take a look at HubSpot because the entire trajectory of how I do my marketing is inbound. But it is not to say, it is not to say I don't have my, um, you know, I don't do ads at all. Um, it is a unique combination of how I do inbound marketing and outbound marketing, or in this case, how I do pool marketing. And I also do, um, I, I, and, and I also do disruptive marketing or push marketing, uh, push marketing as well. So it's really, really a combination of pool and push marketing 
at the end of the day. So remember what I told you about 10 years ago, I was all about disruption. I was all about the billboard. I was all about the advertisements on the radio and things like that. That is all the disruptive marketing that I was, um, that was exposed to. But now that we have social media, now that you have your smartphones with you, yeah, this is the essence of how do you actually pull people in into your funnel through the content that you're so, so passionate about. Yeah. So this is a thing that I wanted to share with you. Uh, we are in the day and age where we are no longer um, traditional. We are what we call uh, tradigital. So uh, this is something that, um, uh, um, that I wanted to share with you where I, for me, if you were to ask me, right, and I, wanna, I would love to ask you uh, as well, uh, in terms of my favorite, favorite channel to own, in terms of my favorite strategy or like a strategy that I know will work when it comes to closing customers and things like that, it is actually email marketing. I love email marketing. I think once you have a database, you have your customers and you actually put them in a system, you automate that system um, and you actually nurture your customers throughout a very much more uh, a personal, personal um, um, uh, method. You can actually... Um, close them a lot better than actually just, you know, putting out this content on social media. Uh, because with social media, there's a lot of pressure. There's a lot of pressure to put a content out and then go like, oh my gosh, like, is anyone listening? Is anyone liking our post? There's all that pressure that comes to social media. So I choose, I choose email marketing as a, uh, as a, uh, as a strategy for Nimble's work. What is your strategy? What have you been doing that is, you know, you know, um, you know, pretty much Pretty much something that um, um, that um, you have been uh, working on. Uh, let me just pull out. Someone just asked. Um, yeah, Serena, does email marketing always work? Yes, it can work. I'm an advocate of email marketing. Okay, I'm an advocate of email marketing, um, and I use certain tools. And I'll be sharing with you the tools that I advocate. It's not just Mailchimp. I know everyone is really on Mailchimp. I know that. But the thing about email marketing is that it allows you to really nurture your database nurture your customers in such a way that you build that relationship that relationship that is outside of social media outside the um, you know the prying eyes of social media so to me that is a that is one strategy that has worked for my business it might work for you it might work for you but my job today as your teacher and your trainer is to explore all these options um, so that at the end of the day you can choose what's best uh, for your business when you want to kick start um, at the uh, um, you know your business uh, right after this yeah so um, so the, so now that you understand that we have all these channels, all this ch uh, strategy, let's talk mindset. Let's talk mindset. Um, let me just pull out my chat to see. Um, blah, 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 blah. Okay, all right. Uh, Ren, Ren, you just asked, but if it's a nonprofit organization, do you, do you think email marketing works? Mm, this is the thing about when is this webinar, ladies. Um, the thing about when is this webinar is that I'm actually going to bring you um, on a journey of how to actually funnel everyone through content, no matter what your business. Um, so no matter whether or not you're nonprofit, you're community driven, you are selling jewelry, you're a realtor, um, it is really, it boils down to your content strategy. So it is this Wednesday. Um, so please, please come for that. Um, I will tell you everything that you need to know when it comes to prospecting all the way to how to have a content strategy to close a prospect or even to elevate or activate an audience. So this is Wednesday. So indefinitely, yes, right? So let me know what is your favorite strategy when it comes to digital marketing? Do you love emails the way I do? Do you love SEO? Do you love content? Do you love writing? Let me know. Right. Um, so I love Instagram and Facebook. Uh, that's great. Uh, that's cool. Cool. Great. Yeah. Uh, keep them coming in. Let's be, let's be as interactive as possible. Um, I love content. I love it too. I love it too. So we'll talk about videos uh, um, uh, a lot later. Yeah. All right. So before we begin, before we begin our, um, um, you know, um, you know, to, to really unpack this whole idea of having a mindset ready for uh, marketing, um, you need to understand a few things. Number one, ladies and gentlemen, you are house. If you're the founder, like me, if I'm the founder of the company, if I'm the, um, you know, the founder of the business, the founder, of the, you need to know that you are at a stage where you're supposed to sell stuff. You're supposed to create content. You're supposed to actually um, um, you know, tell everyone about what you do. Your passions has to be illustrated on videos. You have to be out there putting the hours, you know, just sharing this content with the world. Um, and this is really important because as you are sharing, 
as you are educating your audience, as you are, you know, um, you know, activating your audience, you are actually developing your PR strategy. And this is important um, because after all, after all, right? After all, aren't you resourceful, right? Don't you have clarity already? You do have clarity with what you want to do with your business. And this is the thing, right? This is the thing. Um, the thing about being your own PR house, uh, and what I mean, if anyone's not clear about what is what it, what I mean by PR house, please let me know in the chat uh, chat bot uh, chat group so that I, I can explain this a little bit more. Okay, so the thing about the thing about um, I'm gonna tap into this whole idea of influencer marketing because I've been working with influencers um, like for four years. Um, so basically, the idea is my clients will give me um, a budget, and my job and duty is to actually go out there, find the best influencers to actually talk about their business, to, to you know promote their business and things like that. And then when I and when I sit back and I watch whether or not um, you know this influencer strategy is working, I go back to my clients. I go like, you know what, like. You know the, that amount of that that giveaway that we just did for uh, to the influencer had only like that amount of reach. You know, like what I wanted the influencer to shout out had only that much of an awareness. It's always about measuring the things that you do, and the reason and the biggest reasons why brands are activating influencers because they are so fearful. They are so fearful to be their own PR house. They do not want to build their own videos. They do not want to have. They do not want to think about their own content. So they are just so quick to activate people who are already popular, who are already who has already a following, because it's the easiest way out. Well, um. Let me just say something, yeah? Um, it starts with one view, right? Your content strategy, how you are out there into the world putting out this content on social media, whether you're blogging or writing, it starts with one view. It starts with one reader. It starts with one follower. And this is crucial. This is crucial because you need to understand that it is going to be a lot of work. But that work is definitely going to pay off. Whether or not it's going to pay off in six months, whether or not it's going to pay off in six days, it's going to pay off. So I need you to be a little bit more patient, especially when you are going to embark on an inbound marketing strategy, especially when you're going to embark on an inbound, inbound um, journey, because an inbound journey is pretty long. It's pretty, pretty long uh, because it is not that disruptive um, um, you know, journey that we have with ads. So this is the thing. You have to accept the fact that you got to nurture your clients, you got to nurture your potential audience so that they move towards, um, you know, they move along with you um, before you actually, um, you know, could actually close them as a client. So that mindset is really important. Question for everyone. Do you feel that you will have, you, you actually have the patience, you could actually have the patience or you can actually stomach the whole process of inbound marketing or you feel like, nope, I got to close it today. Let me know in the chat bot. Let me know what you think. Um, Sheila's data. Let me know what you think. Um, are you more towards, you know, telling the story, uh, you know, taking them onto a journey or you go like, nope, I need my ad. I need to close it now. I'm just gonna, you know, I'm just gonna wait for everyone to just, you know, reply on the chat group. What do you prefer? Happy to go on the journey. All right, Vanessa, Vanessa, yeah. Yeah, April, enjoy the journey, yeah, yeah. Are you able to actually put emojis like in a, in a, in a chat bot? I'm not too sure, but if you could actually put emojis, I would know that, yeah, how you feel. Yeah, yeah, Amir, yeah, enjoying definitely, all right. So yeah. Seema, thank you. Thank you for the rainbow. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. So yes, yes, yes. So really, yeah. so you are fully aware. You are fully aware that once once you're on an inbound journey or you're on an inbound methodology or you apply this for your business, the journey is gonna be long, right? However, we gotta be smart. So on the third webinar, right? On the third webinar on the web, on my web, on my Friday session, uh, it's about that art and science of mixing, that storytelling, and also the execution of the ads together. And that's gonna happen on Fridays. I hope to see you on Friday as well. Um, so that's gonna be the toolkits to actually do my ads, to actually do um, the idea of the content strategy together, and how you do this seamlessly. How you how do you do this in such a way that you're um, in such a way that you are such a trust worthy brand and this is really really important so for me you know what i'm all up to bring my uh, to bringing my prospects on a uh, on a journey i mean that's that's what uh, nimble is all about it's all about so let's do this experiment right let's do this experiment together now i have my phone with me right 
I would love everyone to actually just go on Instagram right now and click on nimble.sg. Just click on nimble.sg, right? And I want you to see on a the corner there, uh, if anyone does not know what is an IG story, just take a look at the IG story that's happening on Nimble right now, right? Look at the way we tell our stories on Instagram. Look at the amount of dedication we actually put out the content on Instagram and look at how I own that channel, how I actually put a lot of effort to actually put um, you know, all the visuals, all the videos on that, on that Instagram story platform just so I want to engage with my audience in such a way that I want to actually bring them on a journey. A lot of people think that, you know what, when I do social media, I'm just going to do one post and I'm just going to watch what happens with just one post. That is not a journey, ladies. That is not a journey at all. Um, so you gotta. Um, so so today is all about like understanding the tools, the tools to just get you ahead, just in case you can't come on Wednesday and Friday. So today is just to get you ahead. Um, you know, on 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 what to what kind of tools to just you know get you the visuals, do that video so that you know you look really really cool on social media. Yeah. So the thing that I want to bring it back to the lecture is I want you to have really really clear. Um, you know, a clarity on your SMART goals. And what are SMART goals, right? So in my class, in my class, I talk a lot, uh, and I know it's 1240, I know it's 1143. I'll try to wrap this up ASAP, but don't worry. Um, uh, I'll, I'll make sure that we have enough time to, you know, question and answer. And if we actually go beyond 12, just a little bit, I think we're quite okay. Just a little bit is quite okay. So the thing about SMART goals is that you need to first and foremost, understand, understand, right? What is your specific goal? Yeah. How much do you want to make? Say, for example, I'm running a campaign on like how do I, uh, how do I actually um, sell muffins? Yeah. I want to make, you know, uh, 500 bucks out of selling muffins. So that value, that quantification of that sale of your muffins at $500 is exactly the kind of goal I want you to have. You need to have clarity that is smart. And if you don't have that clarity that is smart, yeah, you are not able, your entire PR strategy on digital is not going to work if you do not have a very clear SMART goal. Are we clear? Are we clear? So I'll talk a little bit more um, uh, this uh, in my future webinar. So I'll, I'll move on. Yeah. So the thing is, I would like you to understand that your social media postings it's not campaigning, yeah? Your social media postings are not campaigning. Uh, it's not you campaigning for prospects. Um, the, and the thing about uh, campaigning for prospects, please write this down. Our customers basically go through, um, as I mentioned before, four different kinds of stages, yeah? So they go through an awareness stage. They go through a, a stage where they're not even aware of you. They don't even know who you are. They don't even know where you're located. They don't even, they can't even find you. So, so that is the awareness stage that everyone typically goes through for a brand. And then after they go through an awareness stage with you, they go through a consideration stage. Yeah. So um, and Nimble team, can you write this down? They go through a consideration stage. And what is that consideration stage? The idea and the essence of why should I choose you over someone else? There's a lot of content out there. There's a lot of business owners out there. Why do you come to Sheila's data? Why do you come to Nimble? Why do you come to us? So they are all making all the decisions. Um, and this is typically what I mean by people who are in that consideration stage. Your duty, your sole duty in digital marketing is to bring them to like all of this, um, is to bring them from one stage to the other, from the awareness stage to and one step closer to the consideration, uh, consideration stage and eventually to a conversion stage. And this is important. How do you bring them to a conversion, a conversion stage? Do you have a website ready? What is your sales funnel like? Like, are you ready to accept? Are you ready to transact? What are you doing to actually transact faster than before? Are you sticking? Are you, are you still taking orders on DM and private message on social? Is that the right way? Hmm, all of these things are, uh, is definitely something that I want to um, I want to talk about because this is the reason why our campaigns fail. This is the reason why our campus fail because we did not have any goals, a uh, set goals in mind. We do not take the time to get to know our audience, right? Um, and then, and then also we can, uh, and as I mentioned before, we confuse social with campaigning. And the thing about <laughs> the thing about this portion here, I mentioned that you expect instant gratification, um, uh, and you never uh, from from your from your social media postings. And because, and you never A-B tested your content, let alone A-B test anything at all. And this is important and this is key, yeah? So 
So this is the thing. Um, on Nimble's YouTube, I have the entire, entire tutorial on how to actually go through your campaign uh, proper. Um, and this, this is completely free. If you actually want to learn more, can we have that link up, girls? Can we have that link up about the, um, the tutorial on YouTube, about the content plan that I, 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 I actually um, give this to everyone? There's a tutorial, a video tutorial on this. So take, take a look at that in the afternoon or at night. I'm going to bring you on a journey on how to actually build that campaign um, um, across uh, on this simple content calendar that I have on Excel spreadsheet. Yeah. So what can you do for your business now? What you can do for your business now is to learn the art and science of how to do digital marketing a lot faster. So I'm going to show you, I'm going to share with you some of the tools, some of the tools that is the must have for your business. Now, before I kickstart on the tools, which is gonna take about, you know, five to 10 minutes of my time, are there any questions so far? Are there any questions so far that we wanna fire up? Yeah, yeah, let me see, yeah. Um, keep them coming in, keep them coming in. Kelly asks, A-B testing can be done even for a post? Absolutely, absolutely. On Wednesday, I'll be sharing with you some of the success matrix, some of the success matrix that we have when you post content on social media. How are people resharing that content? Are people commenting on that piece of content? Are people engaging with you in that piece of content? We'll share all of that uh, on Wednesday, yeah. So, um, so, so that's the thing, um, shall we move on to the tools? Okay, ladies, okay. So I'm gonna share, I'm gonna share my Chrome. All right, you should be seeing this. All right, so the first things first, okay? First things first, I'm gonna go on incognito. Okay, FYI tip, this is a huge tip. Um, if you're designing, if, uh, if you're gonna design a few things or if you're gonna do videos and stuff like that, um, uh, and if, you're, if your browser is stuck, and if you're, or if you're not on Chrome already, please number one, download Chrome because Google Chrome has all the fantastic um, you know, extensions that I will be sharing on Wednesday. Um, and also, um, uh, if you are stuck in designing and your page is not loading up, please go on incognito window. You will see that the window just boom, it's like, like, like renewing. You know, all black, um, don't panic. It's just that there's no cash and this is where you can design a lot faster. So the first tool that I wanted to share with you is Easel, yeah? So easel.com is, has always been Nimble's go-to for designing because we love it so, so much. Uh, we feel that the templates are so similar, so cool, especially when, especially when it comes to actually, um, you know, um, designing, um, you know, on the fly. I love Easel's template because it's really different from the template that we get um, like on, 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 I would say like on Canva and stuff like that. So please, please, please consider using Easel I'm not too sure why my, my page is not loading up as fast. Oh uh, yeah, there you go. All right, so easel.com is the way to go moving forward uh, when it comes to designing on a fly where the templates are completely different. It works the same way as Canva, but I love it so much because it's just a lot simpler. Yeah, it's just a lot simpler. Um, so that's the thing that I really love about Easel. It's simple, it's easy to use, and anyone can be a designer it, uh, uh, with Easel, yeah? Anyone can be a designer with Easel, so please check it out, um, easel.com. Now, because I've, I've gotten you to check out easel.com, I would like you to actually explore a few tools that will actually help you out uh, with making sure that all the collaterals, all the collaterals are all on point. Because what you want to do is you want to look profesh without, a, you know, without the, having the resource of a big team. So you want to look more profesh, right? So I want you to explore tools like unsplash.com, right? Welcome to unsplash.com, ladies. This is where you can actually find all the stock images you know, legit, like you can just find, you know, flowers and there you have it, really, really high definition flowers that you can use already for your collateral. So you never have to complain about Googling uh, uh, images because that's a thing that you should not be Googling images. Uh, you should actually, um, you know, you should actually be, um, uh, you know, finding HD photos just like that. Right. Now, because there's a lot of, because, I'm actually going to tell you one more tool, right? One more tool to help you to help support you in your static design. So we're going to talk about stylestock.co. Ta-da! Alrighty. Now I love this, right? I love love this so much because stylestock.co allows me to look profesh without having to have Photoshop knowledge. So this is for female entrepreneurs. There you go. Uh, beautiful freestyle images 
that's for you, easy for you, all downloadable. Um, you know, do have like, you know, um, empty spaces just like that, uh, right there, uh, free for all to use. So nothing to worry about, nothing to worry about at all. Uh, let me know in the comment section, do you find this already very, very useful? Yeah. So uh, do you love this? Do you love seeing, um, you know, the, the fact that there are a lot of resources out there for you to create your visuals already? So that's style stop. Okay. So now what I want you to do is the thing is because we don't know a lot about Photoshop and you actually need to put your personal brand out there you know, the same way I actually did my videos and as if, uh, sorry, the same way I actually do my static designs. So what I want to, what I want to explain to you is I want to, I want to share something where I could actually, um, you know, uh, hang on. I could actually um, type in portrait. Um, Bella, just a quick thing. Yes, go ahead. Are you sharing the YouTube screen or you want to share a different window? Because right now we can see the YouTube. Oh, right That's now it. you're seeing YouTube. How am I yeah, seeing Yeah, we can't YouTube? see the incognito window. Yes. Oh my gosh. Hang on. Oh, sorry, <laughs> ladies. Wow, Risha, thank you so much for peeing me. I was like happy going on a... <laughs> How are you? I will share. I will actually share uh, one more time. Ladies and ladies and gentlemen, I'm so sorry. All right, are you seeing this, Risha? I can see portrait. It says unsplash.com. Yeah, you can see unsplash.com. Great, great, great. Okay, perfect. Can you see this Thank too? You. Yeah. Alrighty. Okay. Alrighty. Okay. So you can see this, yeah. So what I want to do, I want what I want everyone to do. What I want everyone to do is I want you to type in uh, portrait, right? I want you to type portrait on your unsplash.com and I want to do an experiment with you. Now, say for example, I actually have this photo of me, of myself, yeah? What I want to do is I want to actually download this off. I want to download this off and I want to share a really awesome tool called remove.bg, okay? So I want to share this tool called remove.bg where it will allow you to remove instantaneously, drag and drop this, yeah? And then, boom! right? You instantly, instantly will get your picture without the background move, remove. And this can be used in your collateral because it's going to help your personal brand, right? You need your face, you need to have a collateral and things like that. So if you're ever worried about Photoshop, uh, you know, things like that, look, you can, you are already a designer without Photoshop and this is one of the tool. Yeah. Now, as I, as I, as I'm going through this, if you have any issues at all, please, please let me know in the comment below. Um, what are some of the, uh, what are some of your struggles uh, when it comes to designing? Yes. Cause I would love to know what's going on. Now, the thing about the, 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 the thing about, you know, just, uh, just, you know, uh, helping us with our, with our, with our static is not enough for digital marketing. So as a digital marketer, you need to have more than just a static design aspect to your work. So let me teach you how you can create animations, animations on the fly really, really quickly. So this is my favorite ultimate tool, right? Crello.com. If you have never heard of Crello.com already, okay? If you have never heard of Crello.com already, Crello.com allows you to create instant animated videos. The things that you are doing, the things that you are seeing, all right, the things that you are seeing right now um, um, on Instagram, they were done on Crello, right? On my Instagram feed, they're all done on Crello, right? So that's the thing. You don't have to worry about not having any resources because it is simply drag and drop. And this is a tool that is absolutely free. Now, I know some of us are things on mobile, yeah? You have some tools. You have some tools um, like, um, uh, can we have the word Instagram? my nimble team can we have the app called InShot? yeah um, i would love everyone to actually download this app called InShot, which is available which is available on like uh, uh, on, a, uh, on, uh, on google play store on your play store as well as your app store this is the ultimate go-to tool when it comes to doing quick 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 video edits it's called InShot, everyone and the thing about InShot is that here's the thing i would love to explore cover.co with you Cover.co with you because Cover.co with you allows you to have stock videos, stock videos, right? Absolutely free that you can already use. Take a look at that. Take a look at that. So if I, I were to click on mood, I have so many videos that I could actually um, use for free, 
these are stock videos that are absolutely free. They can actually use this for your work, for your videos, because what you can do is you can actually um, you know, download this off and then after that, you know, um, you know, uh, uh, have it edited on your phone and stuff like that. And they are all HD, all right? So these are my top tools uh, for you to kickstart on your work. But before, before, I, uh, uh, before I end with like, um, um, before I end, I just wanted to share with everybody who here already does not, uh, who here already has a, a website for the business and who here does not have a website to the business. Because if you do not have a website to your business, let's think about an interim solution. My interim solution for everyone, right? Before you even, uh, because I know all of us are selling uh, already. And, and the thing is, because we're, we are selling online, we just do not know how to capture those leads or we even close the sales. So please, everyone, take a look at typeform.com right typeform.com and check this out this type form is not just a solution for surveys this is also a platform for you to actually do your orders and actually have a interim website solution before you even kick start on a proper wordpress or a shopify or a squarespace website i did not say weeks yeah i'm saying all of these things because these are all the other um websites that are really really awesome for, um, uh, for, uh, for, um, you know, uh, for SEO. Um, can I just double check with Sheila's data? Can I have about 10 minutes? Can I have about an extra 10 minutes to actually uh, wrap this up proper? And I do not want to rush the presentation. Is that okay, Risha? So let's do one thing, Bella. Uh, yeah. I know we are top of the hour. So maybe yeah. you can continue. If at all, there are people who want to drop off, they can yeah. please very well go ahead with your commitments. And we can still continue for the next five to seven minutes. And then we can wrap up quickly. Perfect. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us. Yes, Thank Bella, we can everyone. continue. All righty. Okay, so everyone, I just wanted to let everyone know. Uh, I, want, I just wanted to let everyone know that um, uh, Typeform is really an awesome tool because it allows you to have templates that are able to actually take your orders, create order forms uh, from a Typeform. And I think that's fantastic. It's a fantastic interim solution. So no excuses, ladies. You can already get yourself online. You can already design. You can already do your videos. I've already told you about Crello. Now is the content. So here's the thing. I'm going to stop my presentation from my, inc uh, from my incognito window, right? Um, all right. So I'm going to share back my screen. I'm going to share my, uh, my, uh, my screen here. All righty. Okay. So the thing is with all of these tools that I've mentioned to you, with all of the things that I've mentioned to you, now the most important thing, hang on. Are you seeing, can I just double check? Are you seeing my screen? You are, right? Okay. All right. Okay. All right. The most important tool uh, when it comes to marketing, when it comes to marketing is to understand that you have to have, you have to make sure that your designs are on point, right? You have to be on brand, right? So we're going to talk about mood boarding on Wednesday as well. What it means to really achieve that, that sort of mood board that's really perfect for your, uh, for the, uh, for your content. And then we're also going to talk about, um, you, know, um, you know, a little, uh, we, we, are, we also need to understand that videos are everything. So that, that app that I just gave you on the mobile phone called InShot, it is everything that you need to know um, about uh, creating, uh, uh, editing videos on the fly. And what we're going to do is Nimble is going to actually give you um, right after the webinar, a tutorial, a screen recording on how to actually, um, you know, edit your videos on InShot and we'll give it to you right after the webinar. So here's the thing. Do you have any questions so far so that I can, uh, I can take some questions right now? Yeah. No, it's okay, Jacinta, go ahead. Um, yeah. Uh, okay, so Kim asked a question. What do I use for email marketing? Uh, can we actually have here, uh, uh, can we actually, um, you know, have it there, convertkit.com. I am such an advocate of convertkit.com. Uh, there's a, also a lot, um, there's also a tool called privy.com, P-R-I-V-Y.com. If you are an e-commerce business, um, and there's also a tool called MailChimp. All of these things I'll explain to you a little bit more on a Friday uh, because that is how we're going to combine all, of, all the things that we are learning uh, together on, uh, for, that web, uh, for that Friday session. Um, are there any questions? Are there any other questions? MailChimp, ConvertKit. Yeah, all right. So there's MailChimp, there's MailChimp and there's ConvertKit and this preview if you're a product business owner, right? So if there are no, if there are no questions, um, uh, uh, there's, there's any other questions? Yeah. Okay. Kim just asked a question. So I, I'll just answer that. Okay. So basically, basically, I hope you've already, and I, I really sincerely hope that 
um, you enjoyed the presentation. Typically, typically, um, it's always very challenging for me to, you know, explain everything like in an hour or so. But of course, there's always a follow up. There will be a replay. So we're going to enjoy that together um, in that replay. Um, and then, of course, I would love to actually, you know, share with everybody. Yeah, go for it, ladies. Just use the code Sheila's Data on, on our, upon our checkout when you purchase the book. Because here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to actually share with you. I'm going to share with everyone a free chapter of the book, an, an entire chapter on Facebook. Yeah. So this is really, really important because um, uh, the thing about, the thing about, um, the thing about, Hang on, yeah, hang on. I just want to share with everyone. Let me just pull this out. Okay, so the thing about my book that is really, really key is that I know there's a lot of, um, uh, there's a lot of female entrepreneurs here who have already chosen a channel. Like um, you're already on Twitter, you're already on YouTube, or even you're already blogging on Pinterest. Now, there is an entire, entire, uh, you know, deck on these platforms. And I think it's really, really useful because it comes with like, it comes with videos as well because you can actually click on these dynamic links and it's all there for you. Uh, so please, 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 if this is not enough, get the book. Uh, you just use the code Sheila Data upon checkout and you can get 10% off. Um, and that's it, ladies. Um, you know, I, I really sincerely hope you've enjoyed the presentation. Uh, I really, really hope that this is something that, um, that you would actually use and this is something that you will continue to use. The most important thing is that you will continue to actually employ this in your, in your digital marketing so that you can actually gain that, um, uh, you know, be that trustworthy figure of choice or be that trustworthy, um, you know, uh, brand that, people are raving about. So that's all the thing that, uh, that's all the, the, the content that I'll also be sharing on Wednesday. So please come for that. So thank you so much, everyone. Thank you, Sheila's Data. I hope I've done my part uh, in sharing a digital marketing uh, for everyone. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you so, so much for being such an amazing audience. Risha, thank you. The floor is yours. Thank you. Wow, wow. Bella, you are just amazing. Your energy is infectious. Thank you so much to the Nimble team for partnering with us and for a wonderful session today. And of course, thank you so much to all the amazing audience for showering so much love, cooperation, and so many interesting questions to Sheila Vera and the Nimble team. You yeah. guys are our motivation to keep coming back with something exciting every time. Hope you all enjoyed the webinar. Please continue to visit our website, SheilaVera.com. Yes. And watch out for our posts on social media regarding all the upcoming webinars, including the one on Wednesday and Friday this yeah. week, which yes, is a yes, part yes, of, again, yes. the same digital marketing webinar series. And for any questions or queries, please feel free to drop us a note at support underscore SG at SheilaVera.com. Before I wrap up, let's yes. resolve to not to be the same, but <laughs> be better when we walk out of our homes for the lockdown. Yes, yes. Hey, Holly. Thanks, Sayonara. Everyone. Thank you. Thanks, Thank you, Bella. Everyone. Thank you, team. Thank you so, so much, everyone. Bye.